ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Grantham Town Safe here in Football Manager 24 with me, Siwadi. Today we have got a lot of non-league action for you. Uh, a lot of league action, should I say. Um, North Ferriby, Winterton Rangers and Bridlington. So let's uh, get straight into it and hopefully get some good results, shall we? So first up today is North Ferriby, who are currently sitting 12th in the league. So very close to us. Very close to us. Um, so Cesar needs a bit of a, um, needs some match time. This Hall needs some match time. Cesar needs to be given at least 45 minutes. Okay. We'll consider that then. Right. We have got Bojang Wood Mons. Nicholson, Muggled, and Doyle Walker. Yeah. Oh, Cesar is now sitting on the bench. Mm, probably bring him in for Solomon. Because we've got Nathan Smith as a left back. Who can also play centre as well. I don't think I need to make any other changes at the moment. So yeah, we'll go with that team. So yeah, North Ferriber. Harry Lovick. Oh, poor old Harry Lovick. He's there. No, um... Luke Hinsley, though. No, Mr. Hinsley for North Ferriby. Mm. Interesting. But yeah, a, a nice winter day would be nice. Munzee. Munzee, Munzee, Munzee. Harry Wood. Rodrigo. Oh. We've had a shot after eight and a half minutes, which is a lot better than what we did on Saturday, ladies and gents, at Stockton, where we waited until 94 minutes before we had a shot. You're never going to win games of football in real life if you don't shoot. <laughs> so, yeah, unfortunately, the gingerbreads, gingerbreads went down to a 2-0 defeat on Saturday at Stockton in real life, which is not good with the season, obviously coming to a close very very soon and we are bottom of the table now absolute rock bottom of the table um, so it looks like relegation is pretty much confirmed for this year um, so we'll have to regroup a bit over the summer and come up with a better strategy for next year won't we if we're looking at getting promoted again. Instant promotion, whether we're capable of that. And there's Ethan. Well done, Ethan. Nice to hear he's hoping to play the last four or five games of this season for us. As he continues his comeback from injury. So um, that could be, a, could be a difference maker. Having Ethan back. Because it's 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 certainly no um no secret that we stopped playing well, stopped winning matches, stopped getting points after he got injured against the uh, Grimsby Borough back in September. 
we never looked the same team after that. We lost a couple of players that day. Um, after that game, we lost uh, Brad McGregor, Ethan, and also, was it Eli Christie? We lost as well that day. Um, and yeah, we've never really recovered from that. Obviously, we've brought in uh, Harry Wood. We've brought in um, Sam Hooper, who are all on loan from much higher higher playing teams. But they are young lads, you know, 18-year-olds. Don't have a world of experience and are still learning their trade, you know. Non-league can be quite a shock for players coming down from league teams, actual league teams, because it's such a different game down here. Obviously he puts one in. Oh, Bojang's hit the post. So we take a very narrow 1-0 lead into... The half time break. Um, and we'll see what we can get out of it. Bojang's going to whip in a free kick. Rodrigo, yes, get in there, Rodders. Right, I see we need to make a couple of changes. Harry Wood, that's a fairly simple change. We're going to give uh, Cesa a chance. We're going to bring Lisby on for Curtis because Curtis isn't doing out. Um, and see how that goes. Hopefully. Pretty well. Oh, Munzee trying something different there. Interesting corner routing. Right, we'll also make another change. Ryan is not fit. Oh, Rodrigo trying the spectacular. Didn't quite come off though, did it, Rodders? Curtis. Oh, flipping. Well, we've won. And we kept a clean sheet, ladies and gents. So that is all good. Well done, lads. Good win for us. Moves us up to sixth place in the league. Okay.
Brighouse, Consett, Dunstan, Bridlington, Belper, all ahead of us. Stockton, right down the bottom of the table. It's weird for um, a team that's pushing for promotion this year. Ten press conference. Right. A good result for your side out there. How surprising was it for you giving your pre-match opinion? Huh? Yeah, we're not talking about transfers because we can't because our budget doesn't allow it. You know, I'm spending eight hundred and twenty-seven quid of my eight hundred eighty-five pound a week. So yeah, there ain't gonna be no um, ain't gonna be no transfers. Right, time to move on to the next game, ladies and gents. <laughs> Right, so game day, Man, uh, Winterton Rangers are our opposition. And again, we've got to give Cesar 45 minutes today. So, nine changes to the team. Really? Not making nine changes to the team, but we are bringing in a couple of different players now on the wings again. Um, Curtis is a little bit disappointing, I have to say. He's not really firing in this game. And he reacted a little bit disappointingly to a chat I had with him. Um, about his training performances, which are not very good either. I should have... Set it should have definitely set him a target, I think. Nice right, go. Oh, they're going to be playing right through the middle. Look, they're not, not no wide play from these boys. Standard diamond. But they're bottom of the table, so... Let's hopefully take some more points off them and, you know, compound the misery. Nearly a goal there from Harry Wood. Well held, Jonas.
Hojang, Muggleton, Lisby to Ryan, Ryan to Bojang, Bojang to Harry Wood, Harry Wood slots it away, but oh, he's offside. That's unfortunate. Come on, Ethan. Oh! Got Ethan taking three kicks now, and I'm hoping he's going to score some goals for us. Thought I'd switch it up a bit, take Muggleton off the free kicks to provide us with a, a head to Aber. Should we go for one of those... Um, types of free kicks where we go for the cross rather than a shot because obviously Sam's a good header of the ball but I'm hoping Ethan's going to hit the back of the net a bit come on Harry that's it Rushy Harry Wood's gone down Harry Wood's still down Nil nil at half time. Hmm. Come on, we need to step up, lads. Right, we're going to make some changes. Mugsy. Bisbee. Ethan. Bojang. Yes. We will proceed with the tacticals. Come on, boys. Let them score, lads.
And it's Ethan. Harry Ward. Rodrigo. And it's going to stand. I thought for a minute the linesman was running back to put his flag up, but he's kept it down. The linesman's kept the flag down. Well done, Rodders. Smith. Harry Wood. Oh! Corner. Is it going to be a short one? Yeah. And it wasn't a good corner. Because now they're on the counter. Full time. It's another three points. We'll take it. Although that goal of Winterton should never have happened. How we allowed them to just walk the ball into the net, I do not know. And that puts us into the playoffs positions. Oh, it's nice to be in the right end of the table. You know? Where we need to be. He's an outstanding footballer and a privilege to work with. Yeah, Ethan's definitely on the... He's a good lad. Right. Our next game is against Bridlington in seven days' time. So, come back and join me for that one. Right then, final game for today's video. We have got Bridlington at home. Should be a tough contest. They're quite well up there in the league. Um, plus we've got to rest a few players who have been having it a little bit tough so Ryan's going to be sat out for this one Harry Wood's been sat out Bojang's being sat out is that right? do we want to do that? oh I don't think so Curtis Hall we will put him in because he's got to be Elliot Watt, Matty Dorn, Nathan Smith, Solomon Mums, Bojang, Akosi. Curtis. And then we got on the bench. Cedric. Cesar. Harry Johnson. Harry Ollivant. Louis Nicholson. Ooh. You know what? Gonna bring him in on Harry Wood on the bench. I just feel we need a little bit of maybe some midfield. <laughs> I know we've got Cedric, who can come on at midfield centre. Uh, we need to change things around, we can do. Curtis and Rodrigo on the wings. Got Lisby playing up front today instead of Ryan. Right. We need to go and see how the boys do today against Bridlington. Mm. 
There's a league table. So, yeah, Bridlington are, again, they're another team quite close to us at the minute. It's all fairly close at the minute, at the top, in the top half. So, results can really move you around quite quickly. Can catapult you up the table quite quickly or drop you down quite severely. <laughs> Solomon, who's demanded more playing time, hence why he's starting today's game. Come on, Lisby. Karel Lisby gets, is that got to be his first goal for the club? Yes, it is. Oh, Rodrigo tries to kill one. Doesn't come off for him, though. Right, half time. We've got a narrow lead. Oh, no. He lost the flight of the ball. Ball cannoned off Smith there, right into the opposition. Of course, we've got no Muggsy today, so we've got no long throws. Oh, good shot from range there. Fifteen minutes is all. Quarter of an hour left. Harry Olivent for Curtis because he's not really doing much. Harry Wood for a cosy. Um, Lisa for Elliot. Rodrigo's got the ball. Oh, just over. See, Rodrigo's trying. And it's a 1 0 win. Scraped it. Pharrell with Lisby's debut goal and um, first ever goal gives us the points. Again, we're just giving the players a little bit of a talk. Because the performances are dropping off a little bit. But we are playing tough opposition. We are top of the table, ladies and gents. Top of the table. We'll take that, won't we? We'll take that after today. We've won five straight now.
Right, we'll go talk to the Daily Mirror. So I didn't let Bridlington Town get a single shot on target during the game. That win has put your side top. Do you think you can make your spot your own? Just concentrating on the next game. Don't look at the table, he says. <laughs> he says. Don't look at the table. Right. We've got through that tough, tough game. Right, we've got upcoming fixtures then. We have got Hebburn next in the league on Tuesday night. We then travel to Stockton for the FA Trophy first round. Oh. And then we've got Carlton in the league, Osset in the league. And then we play Geisley in the uh, Challenge Cup. So, yeah, some good games coming up. Then we've got trips to Dunstan, Ashington. Oh, that's two tough away games. <laughs> that's two tough journeys. But there we have it, ladies and gents. We have got nine points out of today's matches which has really thrown us to the top of the table, put us in a very good spot. Um, just got to maybe just have a look at some performances, player performances a little bit, because, you know, 1-0 against Bridlington, you know, Winterton Rangers was a bit of a struggle against bottom of the table side. Um, just maybe need to get the players motivated a little bit more to go out there, put the work in every game you know give us 110 percent every single time they step on the grass so that's what we'll look to do hopefully in the next video for now though from me take care of yourselves stay safe and goodbye